Hello, good morning and welcome to Craft with Bella Jane. Um, this morning we are working on the Curious Case of Craftly Hall and we are on day 24. So we've only got six days left after today and um, I'm still working in this little journal that I made which is um, the, um, the journal about um, Ernest Brundle and um, what he you know what what happened while he was at the house before the seance so um we're just going to carry on with that for a couple of days i'm going to leave those two pages for journaling there's a pocket there and we're going to work on these two pages so i think we've just got a couple more days where we can just carry on in this book and then we'll go back to the ringbound journal just to finish everything off so um, the story for today is that the notebook um, he'd placed on the side table only seconds before now lay open and torn on the other side of the room. So um, my plan is to um, have his bedroom. Um, I thought if I have the bedroom shape up there and, um, and then have the notebook um, down here on the floor, so to speak, with his pen um that would give us the distance um i've got his jacket hanging up or his coat rather hanging up there and um i've also um carried on because once he realizes after he's settled down to bed it's a broad daylight in that picture so maybe that's not a great picture but it just shows his bedroom uh yeah after he settles down to bed he um he, the, the notebook gets thrown across the room within seconds of him settling down. He gets up, his pages are all torn where he's been writing and um, he, uh, he looks out and he sees down the hall the shadow of a reverend um, who just disappears. So I thought we could do that, but I've also got this part of the uh, today's um, sheet, which has this. Um, this is a file folder. I've cut it down. I'm going to make it into a little booklet. I'm obsessed with booklets. <laughs> and this was the tag that went with it. So I thought I'll put this on here. I'll make it into like a... Um, um, a zigzag notebook and um, I'll put that on there and then I'll put maybe put the reverend on the back like that zigzag and I'll back all these with this um, brown craft paper and um, I've got this which was in his um, was in the was also in the kit so i'm not sure i think that's the craftly hall plan not sure what this is but i thought i might put the put this over that like that and just stick that into the center and then that's going there isn't it like that And um, that's going there like that. I don't know what's going up here at the minute. Anyway, we've got quite enough to do there, haven't we, for a bit. So let's just, I might just look for a different bedroom picture. So I've got all my um, ephemera in this lovely ephemera holder that I made. Um, I've got this one, which could be go there, couldn't it? It might be better. Let's see what else. These are all the tags, not the bedrooms. We'll just have a look. That's a good one, but it's a lounge, so it's not I'm not going to be in there. So um, they might be in pictures. These are pictures of bits and pieces. There's one. Oh, that's the same one as that one. I wanted a whole bedroom. That's why I picked that one with the windows being dark. Uh, the windows and everything. 
Um, but I could always uh, darken the windows with some um, ink. I don't think I've got another one. That's too, just the bed there. Yeah, so I think um, I will, uh, I can either use that one or that one. Let's try and um, just darken the windows and see what happens. I left my ink open last night, so um, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's still working. That doesn't really help, does it? No, let's just give him a bed. That's just, what have I done with the bed? Oh, there it is. That's the bit. And that's still got daylight coming out of the windows. Oh, let's have the room. Let's have this room. That looks darker and spooky now as well. Oh, I've trimmed it. Let's just trim this window off. That'll make it darker. There we are. I'll help it fit a bit better. There we are. So that's the bedroom there. Good. Yeah, so no 3D because we've just got to, um, oh, it's already fat, this notebook. <laughs> I've been looking around everything, trying to find, I tried, I couldn't, don't know what I did with my um, case file from the very beginning. Searched high and low for it and then I found it, I'd put it in, um, put it in like a box. So let's go in there. Anyway, I've found that now. So I've got everything together. I need one of those rubbers where you rub, you, you can rub out ink. I wonder an ordinary rubber would work. Let's try one of these. No. That doesn't work. I don't know what they are made of, those ink. Uh, glue removing rubbers but I think I need to get one right so just just ink around these and then this one and then we need to ink the back of this because I'm not gluing it all down I'm only gluing the centre. So I'll just I've got all my tissue on me. Let's get rid of that. We don't have to be using that tissue. Right, so let's just I mean I don't want anybody to write on this, I'm just using it as a oh here we go. I just want it to be a bit loose. There we go. So I want that to go inside there. Like that. So all I wanted was for it to be a bit flappy. Like that. I didn't want it to be... You know, I didn't want it to be a proper page or anything. I just wanted it to be a bit like that, so it's movable. And then, um, right, we don't need that anymore. Right, next, let's put his coat. Now, this is very delicate. We've got to be careful with this. <gasps> oh, I thought I pulled it off then. That'll do. Let's just put it on before I rip it. There we are. Yeah, so I cut all these out last night and I was just sitting there trying to think what, what I'm gonna do with them all, what the um what the plan of action is. So you see that can go under there a little bit now, that coat. And that can 
go. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Gotta be so careful with these pieces, they're so delicate. There we are, that's his coat hanging up. And then, um, yeah, this is gonna be inked. This is going then on there, on there. Do I want it to be like a tag or do I want it to be cut off? Let's cut it off. I've got to remember not to use my finger, this finger. You might be able to see I've got gel on it. For rheumatism. A terrible really really painful i even thought that one finger could be so incredibly painful but it is right next i don't think it's rheumatism i think it's arthritis there we are i'd be absolutely gutted if i get arthritis in my fingers and can't do my crafting i won't be very happy then oh but imagine having fingers like keith richard out of the rolling stones his fingers must be so painful and he still plays rock incredibly well now if i didn't if i wasn't short of space i would put this on a bit of um i'd put it on a bit of card I'm not sure to space, I'm sure of this thing, what you call it, depth, gator mouth. I don't want it to be too gator mouth, do I? So that's going there. Oh no, that doesn't want to go there. I want it to go under there. What's that? Phew, that was a relief, nearly made a mess then. Okay, so that's going under there. Where's the pen gone now? Here it is. Ooh, I've glued it down. And then his pen. Don't want that to go underneath because I want to be seen. There we go, this pen can just go there like that. Um, so we've got this space here, which I'm not sure what to do with. So we'll we'll think about that shortly. Um, we could just have the corridor there and the ghostly guy, and then we could, we don't have to have this. I mean, it's not really, you know, we've we've covered everything, haven't we? It's not really relevant. We could have him going behind there, the corridor. Let's cut this corridor down and see what happens. You can faintly see the outline of that door frame. Yeah, we're going to have to cut it down quite a bit more. I wasn't sure whether to put the reverend behind. Cut it about there, maybe. The bottom of that door frame. Could have done with going underneath there, couldn't it really? Can I pick that off? I can. I 
difference. That looks all right, doesn't it? Where's the rev? The rev can go there as he's going down the corridor. Oh, I like that. I'm very happy with that. That's a good idea. And that ends it then. I don't have to make another book. Because I think I've made enough books, to be honest. Journals, rather. I keep calling them books. Sorry about that. Right, let's just um, glue stick this down. And then we've got the whole story then in this two-page spread. There we are. Let's go in there like that. And then that could just be up like that anyway, because it's supposed to have been ripped and damaged. Oh gosh, I don't mess them up now. I think we'll just glue it down. Um, just got to get the rev in now. Put in there. Should we think in with black? This black shadow artistry ink. That's better, I can more like that. Let's cut him off there. Oh, there we are. That's it now. If we don't make a book, a journal. So we've taken a bit of artistic license and we haven't used this and we haven't used this. Um, and we've got all that brown left now. about Mr um, Brundle's stay at Crafley Hall and I've glued the rook on there because I really like it um, and for no other reason to be honest. So we've got his stay, um, we managed to get this to stick down which is great so I need to just ink all of that. I've got the letters in there um, we've got his car drawing up on the driveway and another one of his car there. And then we've got, he um, gets all his equipment out. I'm not taking that out because it's a bit tight. And then we've got um, all his equipment is in here. Now I did this off camera. So here's all his equipment and I've inked it all. I don't know what on earth that is. Something to do with spirits, I'm sure. 
So here's all this stuff. It's extra cameras and it's clocks and things. I don't know what that is. Looks like a blooming. I don't know what it is. Anyway, all of his um, equipment is in there. And then that's all his potions that he needs for developing and stuff. And then that goes around like that. And then there's another um, tuck in here that can be useful. And I'll just push that bit further down. I'm not sure whether to stick that down, actually. And then here we go. This is the page we've done today. So we've got this bit that's a bit sort of interactive. And then we've got the notebook he had placed on the side table, which is here by his bed, only seconds before. Now lay open and torn on the other side of the room. So there's his notebook and his pen. And in the story, if you listen to the story, um, there's his coat hanging up. It says that he got up straight away and then he looked out the door and he saw the shadow of a reverend, what looked like, he said, a reverend going down the corridor. So that's the whole of that story on a two page, little two page spread, which has worked really well for me. And then we've still got, we're still only at the centre. We've got all these pages left which I'm probably not going to use because I'm going to go back to my um, ringbound journal um, after Mr Binder. I'm going to go back to the ringbound journal before the seance. So I'm going to put the seance in the ringbound journal. So there we are. So that is day 24. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to watch till the end so you can see um, Crafty Christmas in July. Um, the um, Telling you what's going on in Crafty Christmas in July, which starts on the 1st of July. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Lots of love.